Over the last few years, e-bikes have hit the market at an ever-increasing pace and have become very popular with the riding public. If you are interested in buying an e-bike, this video will give you a good option. I would like to introduce to you my bike and my wife's bike, both electric pedal assist bikes produced by Pedal Easy in Nepean, Ontario. I've been an avid biker for over 12 years. And a few years ago when I got into my 70s, I started struggling going up hills and I needed some help. So I did some research and talked to a few friends and I discovered Pedal Easy in Nepean, Ontario. And my bike, my Da Vinci, is a converted bike which was done by Pedal Easy. Here is my original Da Vinci bike I purchased at Yant the Cycle here in Pembroke before its conversion. After contacting Claudio Wenzel at Pedal Easy, he determined that my bike could be easily converted as it had the requirements of the 700cc or 28 inch wheels, rim brakes, a steel fork with a 4 inch or 10 centimeter gap to fit the front wheel. They were able to do my conversion in a couple of weeks after my request. This conversion cost me about $1,500 plus tax, and it's been worth every dollar. With the battery and conversion, my bike weighs in about 43 pounds. Last year, I purchased from my wife the 26-inch Easy Rider bike from Pedal Easy. Her bike was constructed in their shop in Ottawa and was not a conversion like mine. This bike is ideal for my wife who wanted a smaller bike as it has a very low top bar for easier step through mounting and dismounting. It has a very compact frame design with 26 inch wheels as opposed to the 700 cc wheels of the standard Easy Riser they sell. This is the smaller size, uh, as Larry said it's a 26 inch and I I just, it's the perfect size for me. It's, um, another thing I really like about it is that it's uh, a low uh, slide in so that it's really easy for me to get over the, the bars and, and uh, to set up to start to ride. Uh, I really like are the handlebars. They're very, very comfortable. Uh, the gear changing is easy to do and also the throttle is in a good position so I like that the tires are a little uh, wider than uh, some bikes and I find it gives me some stability plus it's also helpful on some of the trails that I'm riding on. This lightweight bike weighs in at 37.5 pounds with the battery installed. I paid $2,700 for this bike plus tax and she sure has enjoyed it. Now let's look at the components of these bikes to see what makes them go. Both our bikes have a front wheel driven 36 volt 350 watt electric motor. This front wheel motor is very quiet and gives the bike more stability as it will not plow or skid when in sand or loose gravel as it drives the bike in a forward motion. To activate the motor, push the red power button. There are three LED lights, red, yellow and green, that give an indication of how much charge is in the battery. When all three LEDs are on, the battery is fully charged. At around 50% charge, the green light will go out. And when the charge reduces farther to about 20%, the yellow light will go out and the red light will be on for the remainder of the charge. The Easy Rider has a half grip twist throttle on the left side of the handlebar which controls power to the motor and it will spring back when released. Mine is a thumb type throttle you push down to advance power. Switching gears on the Easy Rider is done with the right handle grip and it has a rear internal gear hub. My gear shift is levers as I have the regular derailleur system. The battery is the heart of any e-bike. Pedal Easy uses only Panasonic or Samsung lithium ion cell 36 volt batteries which are carried in the bag on the back carrier. There are three wires on the battery. The single wire connects to the battery charger. The other two wires connect to the bike with the red connector sleeves. They will only fit together one way, connecting red to red and black to black. To remove the battery from the bike for charging, gently pull the connectors apart. 
The single wire on the battery plugs into the charger. The charger is plugged into a standard 110 volt household electrical outlet. The charger has LED lights that change from two red to a red and green when the battery is fully charged as indicated here. A full charge if battery is completely depleted will take about four hours. The range of the battery depends on several factors. The type of terrain you are cycling on, if you are going up several steep hills, or cycling on level roads with little grade, but the range of the battery will especially depend on how much pedaling you are doing as a cyclist. Last fall, Nancy and I did a 70 kilometer leg of the Petit du Nord Trail in Quebec from Mont Laurier to Riviere Rouge on one charge. You can buy a smaller spare battery from Pedal Easy, which will fit easily in the rear carrier bag with the larger battery and extend your range for another 20 to 30 kilometers. With both Nancy and I each having an e-bike, it has enabled us to do something together as a couple. And we even belong to a bike group. And now we can ride with some younger cyclists who don't have e-bikes, and now we can keep up with them. The biggest thing for us, these pedal assist bikes take the grunt work out of going up hills, which was becoming a challenge for us. Larry and I have had fantastic service from Claudio. He's so accommodating, especially since we live over 100 kilometers away from his shop. Any issues we've had or concerns, he's troubleshot for us and fixed things as quickly as possible for us. And I really appreciate that so that we, it keeps us on the road 